Okay, this is my living room TV. It's running Windows 10. Um, I usually use this TV for Cody. I'll start it with the green button. I can also use Cortana on here. What's the current weather? Right now, it's minus two and partly sunny. I can also turn on and off my lights that I have programmed in this room. And I'll show you my next system. Uh, the PC I have in my kitchen. It's the display is built into the kitchen cabinets. Um, it's running Windows 10. I have a wireless keyboard and mouse, and the system is also a uh, touchscreen. On here, I do pretty much um, just general communing, checking emails, um, going on the web, stuff like that. This is my office, and I've got uh, three, uh, three screens in here. Uh, each, run is, each one is running uh, Windows 10. For the most part, this is where uh, the kids will do their homework, um, play games, um, well, pretty much anything, emails, anything you want to do on here. Um, I do multiplayer gaming, land gaming on here, and um, I'll show you my next room. I have uh, built into my wall, just have to trim it yet. Um, it's running Windows 10, and it is obviously touchscreen, so I can check um, my home security. I can check the weather. And for the most part, the only other thing we really do is uh, maybe some YouTube to put on some music while we're, uh, while we're up here. TV I have down in the kids' playroom slash workout room. Uh, elliptical and weight bench here. Um, so on this one, we typically have it for Cody. And again, I'll start Cody with uh, my remote. So in addition to Cody, I also have it set up to control the lights as well. So if you can see to the smart switches, these are instant switches. And in addition to that, it can also control my, my door. Oop, wrong button. So that is uh, basically um, what I do in this room. All right, this is my basement touchscreen, and it's the same signal for the uh, the upstairs bedroom. It's just a VGA split. So in here, I can do my security cameras. I can do my security system, arming the system, and well, I also use it for not so much down here, but traffic and. Uh, just general, uh, general quick looking up stuff. Okay, this is my home theater. Uh, it's 120 inch screen. And what I have in here is uh, my projector, which is in the, uh, in the room behind. And I simply can press a button. Which drops the picture. And again, this is running Windows 10. And again, Cody is what I primarily use for media viewing on here. I also have it hooked up to my lights, my smart switches in here. So I can control the lights. And I can also control, let's get that one back on. I can also control, sorry, the lights, there we go. I can also control my door from in here as well. That was open. And I have it set to close slowly and open fast. So I'll just do that last demonstration. The 
room that basically houses my projector. Um, I got a PlayStation there, uh, as well as the receiver. And up until this point, I've showed you many of my rooms, all running Windows 10. And this is basically here showing all the different hardware uh, that I have in the house. Now you might think that's not that impressive yet, but what I'm about to tell you should change your mind. All of this, uh, all of this hardware, I have 10 screens in total, 8 unique, so 2 are with video splitters. Um, I have 8 sound cards, 8 different videos can be watched at once, and all screens are running Windows 10. So, I guess the question is, do I actually have 8 computers running in this house? So the actual answer is one. I have one computer that runs the entire house. Um, so this is what I have inside the PC. I've got four video cards. Each video card has uh, uh, is using uh, two outputs. It's a uh, Xeon E5620, but that's uh, Kind of irrelevant as long as you have a, a decent processor and a, enough RAM. I have 12 gigs of RAM. Then basically you can do the same thing. So this is the uh, this is the PC right here. It's an old server PC, and you can see there's my four video cards. Kind of hard to see, but and then all the outputs. And these outputs spread out through the home, through HDMI, uh, through uh, VGA over Cat5. Um, and HDMI cables, TV tuners there. So basically this is all accomplished with a software called Aster. So I'll save that for a second. So this is Aster software and what it does for you is it takes it basically a program that's installed and once enabled, it'll split all your displays into unique workstations that are all run totally independently of each other. So I can be watching eight different videos in eight different rooms. I can be playing, um, my kids play Minecraft. They can play Minecraft on three of the systems while we're watching a movie on two others or pretty much any combination. Assuming that uh, the processor and RAM have enough uh, <clears throat> to keep up and I've never had a problem to this point. It's quite easy, basically you uh, assign each display to a terminal and you assign the keyboard and mouse to that terminal. And it makes it really easy because as soon as you use, I'm using this mouse, it activates that you're, it tells you which device you're using. So you can just drag it to the device you want and, and it's just that easy. So yeah, check it out, Aster. Um, I'll post uh, links in my uh, video description. Thanks for watching.